Hi guys, it's me Kai and welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be a wig tutorial on this big, bouncy, fluffy, disco diva hair. Not too different from my most recent wig tutorial, except instead of a shaggy bang, we've got some finger wave action going on at the top. It's very chic, avant-garde, I'm kind of obsessed with it. And do you guys remember earlier on this year when I said that I was gonna make it a resolution to wear um, more red hair? Actually, one of my New Year's resolutions, I'll let you know, is to wear more red hair, which is why I picked this wig out. And um, I know what you're thinking, Kind, you need to write an inspirational self-help book and it's on the way. Well, how are your New Year's resolutions coming along? Because in this household, we keep ours. Anyway, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think of the hair? And yeah, let's get started. Okay, I love filming these videos because I can actually get dressed up even though I'm not going anywhere. I haven't worn this denim jacket in so long, it's actually feeling like stiff and crunchy. Remember what it was like when we went outside. So first of all, you want to start off by parting your wig in the middle for this style. And this wig already comes with the middle part, but if yours doesn't, you're gonna wanna do that. And you're gonna wanna line it up with the center of your wig block or mannequin head or whatever you're using. I'm gonna start off by giving this wig a bit of a haircut. This is gonna be pretty much very similar to my last wig tutorial on that curly bang hairstyle where I wanna do pretty tight ringlet curls and I want the final product to have a pretty like circular shape proportion wise. So what I do is I take a section vertically like this. And then I just cut it by going at this type of angle. And then just go for it. This, the highest up I start will be like about here. I don't really take measurements as you're familiar. I know it can feel really scary to cut into the hair after you've spent so much money on your wig. And I can really relate to that because I spent the first few years never taking a pair of scissors to my hair at all because I did not want to mess it up, but it seriously makes such a big difference, guys. So since we're gonna do a middle part and we want to really define the middle part, I'm gonna put all the rollers in sideways and I'm gonna use these orange wire mesh rollers. They're seven eighths of an inch in diameter. Okay, so see how I start off by putting the hair on one side of the roller? I'm like halfway up the hair. Then I wrap the end around cover the rest of the roller and then just roll down covering the entire length of the roller like that. Next we're taking another section right beside it and doing the exact same thing. Now I'm moving on to the next section just working my way towards the ear. So I've done those four sections and no, you'll notice they've all been rolled to that direction. And now, since this is the middle part, I'm gonna do four sections on this side of the hair, exactly the opposite direction. So at the top of the head, I'm gonna have like one point where all the hair will pivot away from like that. Oop. So you see that little triangle there, this hair is rolled in this direction and that is rolled in that direction. So we're kind of negotiating the difference between these two rollers being rolled in completely opposite directions. Now everything else can just go in like U-shaped rows underneath this triangle, just like that. All right guys, so here's what the roller set looks like. So now I can lock this in with some steam. So I'm gonna go get my steamer and steam this under a plastic bag for like four minutes. And I'm gonna let that dry like that for pretty much overnight. So I'll be back tomorrow to style this wig once it's all dry. All right, so we're back and it's day two of styling this wig. I got into drag last night, so I've got some nails on. But I'm gonna go ahead and start taking down these rollers. All right, so there's all the hair out of the rollers. So we're gonna brush it out and tease it. And we're gonna start from the back since I want quite a big end result. I find that when I start from the front and work my way back, sometimes 
I have to lift up so much teased hair to even get to the back. But this way, by starting at the back and moving up the wig, then you don't have to pile through so much hair. I'm gonna tease it and it's gonna look a little bit like I'm ruining it by really ratting it up like this. But we will be able to smooth it all out in the end. So I recently subscribed to Chantelle Sparkle's Patreon account. Um, she, if you don't know her, she's a drag queen and she's very, very talented at wigs and sewing. I highly recommend to check her out. I watched a couple of her wig styling videos and she likes to use hairspray and blow dry the hair after every section of teasing to really reinforce it. So I picked up this wet hairspray from the store. It's from Tresemme. And I don't really use wet hairspray very much, but I'm gonna try it out. Let's just see what it does. And I guess I can blow dry it a little bit. So the blow drying sort of just helps to freeze in the hairspray and lock in that volume that we've got going on before it sort of deflates. So I'm gonna move on to the next section up. I'm taking my brush about like six inches from the base and I'm just doing one, two, three, four brushes like that. Around that many. Let's see, use a little bit of Trace May. Sounds like I'm saying Teresa May. Now I've reached the point where this is that triangle of hair that I did with the roller set. So this is like the top of the wig. So now at this point, I'm really gonna make sure I'm only teasing the back of every section. I've teased most of the wig now. All that I have left to do is the last two strands that are right here beside the part. Just doing a little bit of teasing since I want this section a bit flatter. I don't really want a lot of volume at the top of my head actually. So that's that wig teased. Let's start smoothing things out now. So I've got my little smoothing brush and I'm just gonna brush like out and away from the part like that. And then once that looks smooth, I'm gonna put my hand there to anchor that part down and then brush more. For this top hair, I'm kind of gonna do a little bit of a finger wave to it. See how there's already such a beautiful wave in the hair? You kind of just want to work with that as your foundation. See how the first thing this curl does is go up? So I'm gonna encourage it to go up. I'm just gonna brush it up and we can use a little alligator clip to just hold that crest down. And then the next section goes down. So I'm gonna use my teasing brush. I'm gonna use the length of it to Hold it down like that and then while that finger is anchoring it I'm gonna brush the hair that way which is where I want it to go. So then you can take another alligator clip and hold that in place. The next section is gonna be a crest it's gonna go up so I'm brushing the hair up and then I've got my finger anchoring it up so I can brush the rest of the hair just out. And then use a little alligator clip to hold it up. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm only gonna do one up, one down, and one up. And then from there, the hair is kind of just gonna poof out and do its own thing, right? So once you're happy with it, really freeze that in place with hairspray. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. Once again, starting by brushing the hair up until it's really smooth and then see how it falls, right? So 
there's a natural crest forming here. So I'm gonna lean into that and put a clip right here. And then the next section wants to go down. So to make sure that it, I actually have enough hair, I'm gonna take some of this hair here and just brush it forward toward the front of the head. Down and to the side, down to the side. And that trough is forming really nicely. Let's free some of that. So now let me clip the trough down. I'll use two clips, one for the back. And then the next section is gonna be a crest. It's gonna go up. So anchor it down and then pull the hair up, up and then to the side, up and to the side. All right guys, I think that's it for this wig. I'm really happy with her. Let's take these clips out really quick just to see what it looks like. But I tend to leave these clips in for quite a long time because if you're not wearing it, then you should be leaving the clips in just to keep it in the style that it's in. <laughs> Here's the finished style, guys. I'm gonna go get into drag and show you what it looks like. And I'm back. So this is a finished look, you guys. What do you think? I love it. I'll post my makeup details over on Instagram if you guys are curious about that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys try it out for yourselves. I'll take this moment now to shout out some of you guys actually on Instagram who've tagged me in your pictures, recreating some of my tutorials, which I love to see. So thank you so much for the tags. I really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what else you want to see me try out in the future and maybe I'll get back to you. But until then, I hope you guys are all doing well. Bye.